Welcome back to Boxing Battles. In today's video we are going back in time to look at the rivalry which emerged between boxing's most ferocious warrior, Arturo Thunder Gatti, and underestimated underdog, Ivan Mighty Robinson. Robinson will always be best known for his two epic battles with Gatti. In any sport where it's just one man up against another always has the chance to produce an exciting upset. This time, I'll be at 100%. People forget about the last fight. And if there was one thing I would say to him, I would tell him I love him and to take this beating like a man. At first glance, you may have thought that because Robinson was the underdog, he had no chance of beating the exciting slugger Gaddy, but you couldn't have been more wrong. It was actually the opposite. Robinson went into the fight hungry and determined to get the win. He reminded everyone that even the greatest stars on the planet can lose. There are no guarantees in boxing. Even great legends such as Manny Pacquiao, Sugar Ray Robinson, Mike Tyson, and Muhammad Ali have all been underdogs or have lost to an underdog at some point in their careers. I saw Sonny Liston a few days ago, Cash. Ain't he ugly? <laughs> he, he's too ugly to be the world's champ. The world's champ should be pretty like me. Well, he told me to bet my life that you wouldn't go three rounds. Well, if you want to lose your money, then bet on Sonny. <laughs> on August 22, 1998, at the Atlantic City Convention Center, the aggressive, all-action fighter Arturo Gatti took on the unheralded and underestimated Philly fighter Ivan Mighty Robinson. Gatti, the ultimate blood and guts warrior, was coming off a loss to Angel Manfredi seven months prior. Down goes Gatti on a perfect left hook. Having already participated in a fight of the year the previous year with Gabriel Rulas. It's when I hurt, well, I'm, in, I'm in trouble, I know I'm in trouble, I see everything and I hear all the crowd. I see my trainer, I see my mom ringside, and looking at that, you know, it's, it inspires me a lot. It kind of wakes me up, but I gotta do what it takes to win the fight. It is up, it says no more. Can you believe Arturo Gatti? Arturo Gatti. At the end, I always say, can this kid go on doing that? Can, uh, can he take that, that much of abuse? abuse. Many boxing fans were curious to see what he physically had left in the tank. They wondered whether the damage he sustained inside the ring, plus the damage he did to himself outside of the ropes, would catch up with him sooner rather than later. 27-year-old Philadelphia native Robinson was a slick boxer but wasn't considered a big puncher or a threat to defeat Gaddy. Unfortunately, Robinson had come up just short in his biggest moments. He barely failed to qualify for the 1992 U.S. Olympic team that would end up making Oscar De La Hoya a superstar. While De La Hoya fought for five- and six-figure purses after turning pro, Robinson made little money in the paid ranks. He worked his way up the lightweight ranks, earning a title shot against IBF champion Philip Holliday in South Africa. He dropped a 12-round decision and then suffered a stunning upset to unknown opponent Israel Cardona. Uh, it was a, a real damn close fight. Uh, I got out of my game plan. I didn't listen to Tommy Brooks. Uh, like I told everybody before, Philip Holiday is a true champion. I'm glad he got, gave me a shot at the IBF title, and I'll be back. I just hope HBO and you know everybody look at me as a worthy opponent and bring me back. But after those back-to-back -back defeats, Robinson regrouped and put together enough wins to earn a chance against Sugar Shane Mosley before Shane suffered a cut in training therefore derailing that big-time opportunity. But Ivan's loss was boxing's game, because the end result was that instead of Mosley versus Robinson, we got Gaddy versus Robinson, an all-out toe-to-toe slugfest. Gaddy, who had 29 wins, 24 of those coming by way of knockout, was a 4-to-1 favorite to beat the light-punching Robinson, who had just 10 knockouts amidst his 25 victories. Many thought if Robinson had any chance against the hard-punching Gaddy, he was going to have to use his hand speed and boxing skills to tame the charging bull. For Robinson, that was what he trained to do, right up until the moment he ran out to the ring. Robinson said himself, 
The whole training camp, all I did was box, box, box. But the moment I ran out to the ring, I decided I was going to fight him and he was going to have to kill me. Like Bugsy Siegel, who was either gonna get away robbing the bank or be killed trying. I was like fought a 50% Gary. This is a fight 110% Gary this time. Why would he, you know, say I'm only fighting a 50% of Toro? That's just a cop out. Really, the way I feel in my heart, I love a Toro, but this is personal now. When the bell rang for round one, Robinson came charging out of his corner, immediately throwing jabs and landing a good right hand. Robinson battled at a furious pace, demonstrating his impressive hand speed as he pumped out sharp jabs and rapid-fire combinations. There must just be something about Gaddy that brings out the excitement in everybody. And then Robinson started quickly in the first minute against Arturo Gaddy. Gaddy settled into the round landing a big hook that certainly got Robinson's attention. Robinson immediately fired back going against his game plan to box, voluntarily turning the fight into a war. Towards the end of the round Gaddy came back landing an excellent uppercut and some vicious hooks. Both men traded a barrage of shots as the bell sounded for the end of the round. Excellent start between Gaddy and Robinson. And the bell will get in the way. It was an excellent start to the fight. The next two rounds were the same. A titanic display of toe-to-toe -to -toe action. Robinson had abandoned his usual movement and traded with Gaddy in the three action-packed rounds. Robinson took all of Gaddy's thunderous punches and landed even more power punches than Gaddy. He won the first three rounds because he couldn't miss Gaddy at all. Nothing cheap about any of these punches as Robinson squaring up so he can get more punches in. It seemed like every one of Robinson's right crosses and uppercuts landed flush on Gaddy's chin. Robinson with some good uppercuts, Ivan Robinson with some hooks, doing the damage, Ivan Robinson putting on a show here. Gaddy was wearing the look of a warrior with blood and swelling under his left eye. People started to question how many wars can one fighter take. Gaddy responded by scoring a flash knockdown in the fourth round with a right cross to the top of Robinson's head. With the right hand. Down is Robinson from the right hand to the head. The fifth round was the same as the first three rounds with Robinson delivering more successful punches than Gaddy. The crowd were definitely loving it. Towards the middle of the sixth round, Robinson staggered Gaddy with a sizzling multi-punch combination that had Gaddy out on his feet but somehow he was able to take it and managed to hold on. In going for the kill, Robinson delivered some tremendous shots, but in the process left himself wide open and got rocked by a big right hand. Gaddy seized the opportunity and rained several devastating blows to Robinson's head and body. The fans were screaming for Gaddy to finish him before the bell rang, ending the round and saving Robinson. It's Robinson here. A quiet first half of the round. An explosive finish. Rounds 7 and 8 reverted back to the previous rounds won by Robinson. In round 9 both fighters began looking for position, stealing a couple of seconds rest wherever they could, both visibly looking tired and weary. Towards the middle of the round, Robinson rocked Gaddy with some flush shots. Flush shots on Gaddy. Gaddy rocked a little bit here. And he's tired. Gaddy was clearly fatigued unusually leaving his hands down by his side. This time Robinson fought wisely and didn't leave himself open for return. Gaddy survived the round with his left eye completely shut. 
The tenth and final round was a dramatic tale of two halves. For the first two minutes Robinson battered Gaddy by landing several rights to Gaddy's blind eye. Robinson landing some good solid shots. But Gaddy showed his true warrior spirit and out of nowhere delivered a shocking left hook that wobbled Robinson. Then, with less than 20 seconds left, Gaddy delivered another left hook that wobbled him for a second time, and Robinson was evidently hurt. Unfortunately for Gaddy, time ran out, and Robinson held on to win a split decision. It was an unbelievable finish to an unbelievable fight. If you enjoyed today's video, please like and subscribe to the channel so you won't miss any new episodes about boxing's greatest moments. Thanks for watching.